Tomorrow the judges and the referee will be assigned by the Nevada Commission. What are your thoughts on that process and what do you hope comes? I mean, I just hope they, they, you know, choose the right people that that's, that's certified for such, an, such a huge event like this. You know, we can't have mediocre, you know, judges. We can't have mediocre refs, you know. And, um, and some of the other judges that put their names in, they got to understand that if you don't have the credentials, uh, for this type of uh, fight, then, you know, uh, you have to sit back and still learn, you know what I mean, because there's a lot of mistakes that can be made and stuff. And for a fight of uh, this uh, significance, you, you, you got to have the right people, you know. And um, and I think they're going to choose the right people. I don't really worry too much about the judges and the referee. I just think about what, I, what I'm supposed to do and my abilities, what I'm capable of doing, and I will, and I will display that on that night, you know. One thing about it, I don't worry about that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just take that judgment if it leads to a decision. You can only hope for the best. All fighters get nervous. No matter if they feel like they won all the rounds or, or what, you can knock a guy down and you can just, your corner can tell you one thing. Oh, excuse me. Can tell you one thing, you can feel it as well. And then we've always seen it goes the, the opposite way or whatever. So it's always scary leaving it up to the judges. And because uh, you just never know what they saw, although they had a like, shit, they had a, the, the ultimate front row seat, so they could see it all. But you know, you just don't ever want to leave it could to that them. Could be a problem, Deontay, for him if you open up that eye? It could definitely be a very uh, big problem for him. And, and you know, we all know in boxing, uh, when Wiley opened up that cut like that, it's supposed to be stopped. But we all know that they didn't stop it because this very moment right now, it was it was best for boxing. And, yeah. and and that's just it because when you have a cut that that down there covers your whole eyebrow and it's goosing out and it's coming down and half cut, you know you got half flush and half face, you know you know uh, it's not good. And when you have a fighter like myself, so powerful and so dangerous, you know I, I'm, I'm thinking about if that cut opens up, what's going to happen? You know we're going to see what's going to happen, and that's what's going to take place in picking the right referees and different things like that because in heart, as a warrior, we always can say we can carry on. But we gotta look at, you know, what's gonna be beneficial for health and all that different things. Look, last year we had three guys to pass away. And I guarantee you they was loud now. They would say shit. They wouldn't change it. They'll keep going because they're warriors. That's their man that's our mentality. We say we'll die in the ring. And sometimes I always say you gotta be careful what you speak because it shall come to pass and it come upon a time. And not saying those guys did that, may their soul rest in peace. I'm just speaking on a warrior mindset and a warrior mentality as us getting in the ring. We just wanna, <laughs> we wanna be the best we can be in the ring and get a great fight because not too many people in the world can do what we do and not, and half of those people would never walk out the tunnel, let alone get inside of the ring. So, you know, you gotta respect all fighters you know, past and present, and that's what I do. I respect them all, and I love the ones that have shared their energy in there with me, and, uh, and, and may God be with them along that journey all the way through, you know, and I hope they wish the same thing for me. Thank you, guys. That's a wrap for